sun is shining in Northern Ireland and I'm heading on a road trip up to the glens of Antrim. The Antrim Coast Road was actually built in the 1830s and spans a massive 160 kilometres around the whole shoreline. There are nine glens of Antrim, so I can't wait to see how many I'm going to find today, but first stop is going to be Ballygally. Heading to Glen Arm, which is actually the first of the nine Antrim Glens, it's actually a wooded glen and it forms part of the estate belonging to the Earl of Antrim and of course Glen Arm Castle as well which was formed in the 1750s. You can actually drive the scenic route so that's what I'm going to do so I'm really looking forward to seeing some beautiful scenery. The sun's shining so I'm sure it's going to look absolutely magnificent. So just driving the Glencloy scenic route, this is the glen that's shaped like the sword and actually sweeps right down to the sea at Carnlock, which I'm just actually approaching. This glen is actually surrounded by white chalk quarries and a really distinctive feature is the white chalk arch that is actually on the coastal road leading through to the harbour at Carnlock. So you'll see that um, as we head towards Carnlock now. Just coming from Carn Lock, which is a great wee seaside town, famous for the Game of Thrones and um, the fact that Arya used the harbour steps when she got off the boat um, is what it's famous for. So um, great wee town to stop off, get some ice cream on your way along the Glens of Antrim tour. Here we are, back to where it all began at Drains Bay, the entrance to the Glens of Antrim. I've had an absolutely fabulous day. The sun's been shining, the scenery's been amazing, and there's been loads of stops along the way, which has probably waylaid me a little bit. So we definitely can't wait to get up the Antrim coast again and do some more exploring. 
So we're just heading back down the road from our trip to the Antrim Glens. And we'll just bypass Carn and so I'm just going to stop in there. It's a really great country park, perfect for children. It actually has a big maze which you can go in and explore. It has a fantastic park which is not long built with a maritime theme. Great for loads of all different ages. If you're a walker there's actually five different designated routes as well. So you can walk up hill, you can go around through the wooded area. And there's loads of events held on throughout the year as well so you should definitely keep an eye on their website for things that are happening but it's just a really lovely scenic secluded place to go for a nice calm peaceful walk mm -hmm.